Hey guys, I hope you've been practicing because today is where Bagua gets interesting. I am beyond excited to bring you this lesson today. We are gonna be working on our hook and our swing steps. Now these steps are your precursor to your Bagua spins. Stick around to the end, that way you can see how all these previous videos culminate into one beautiful exercise. All right, I'm not gonna let you wait anymore. We're gonna go ahead and get started and start working on our hook and our swing steps. So the hook step and the swing step are exactly what they sound like. When you're hooking, you're hooking in. It's like a hook, you know, it goes around in a circle. When you swing, you're swinging the foot out. So it goes out in a circle. So if you notice, there's a common theme in Bagua, circles. So let's follow this first drill to work on our hook and our swing step. So we first wanna practice this drill in a straight line, then we can add the circles to it. So please follow along. I'm gonna start in my internal posture. So I open up, open my beginning, elbows in, and push down. Now for this drill, I'm gonna immediately kick out like I'm gonna do my mud tilling step. Here, and press. As I move my body forward, now I can shift and I put all my weight on my left foot and I spin down. As I spin down, my other foot is gonna hook in here, almost making a T. One more time. Out, shift the weight, rotate on this hip, hook step. Now I want to release here. So I'm twisted up, drilling down here. I'm gonna release this hip while keeping this one tucked. Swing step. The step from the T swings out and turn. You notice I open my hip here. Swing. Now I'm gonna bring the foot back around and I'm gonna hook in following the line. Weight shift, hook. Same thing again. Swing. Now if you notice, I'm in a T. My foot is back on the line and I can shift my weight forward. One. Now from here, after I shift my weight to my right foot, I'm gonna Take my left foot, sink into my right hip, spiral down on my right foot, down, hook in. Shift my weight to my left hip, continue to spiral here, swing. Now I'm open. Now from here, I'm all twisted, there's a tension. So I release the tension, hook, right here. Now from here, I release the tension that's built here and here. Swing back on the line and walk. Let's do that one more time from a different angle. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna open my arms, sink down into my mud tilling posture, my internal posture. Now I'm gonna kick out with my right foot, one step. Now I'm gonna shift my weight forward, just like I'm doing my mud tilling step. I'm gonna load up on my right hip. As I lift my back foot, I'm going to mud till forward, and then I turn my hip on my axis and hook the foot in here. Now I should be at a T here on the straight line. Now, since this is all loaded up, I'm gonna release here, swing. Now, here. Now I'm gonna release here and big hook around. Now I should be facing backwards. Now, since I'm all loaded up again, I'm gonna release, swing. I should be back on the straight line. And I mud till step once forward. Now I can do the same thing. I shift my weight forward. I'm gonna bring my foot forward and hook. From here, release, open, hook. 
open. One. Now I can hook step. Hook. Release. Hook. Walk. Walk. Now I can do the other side. Hook. Swing. Hook. Swing. Walk. Walk. And again. Hook. Swing. Hook. Walk. Open. Until one. Hook. Swing. Hook. Step. Step. Right here. Hook. Swing. Hook. Step. Step. Hook. Swing. Hook. Step. Step. Hook. Swing. Hook. But Sifu Tex, I want to put this in a circle. That's easy. Anytime you switch directions, you want to switch with the hook, swing, or the hook, swing, hook, swing step. So, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go ahead and do the first three movements I showed you in the very first video, but with the hook, swing, hook, and mud tilling steps as your focus now. Here are a couple different demonstrations of what you can do once you master the hook swing hook step. So let's incorporate some hand movements to our hook, swing, hook step. So let's first break down the hands. With the hands, the first movement we're going to do is we're going to reach out and chop. As I chop, I pull in with my pinky and circle like I'm carrying a cup, a bowl on my hand. Circle around my ribs, back around my, both my kidneys, and then I'm gonna drop to here. Reach out one, two, three. One, two, three. Now what do we do with our right hand? So we start in our mud tilling step, so we're gonna chop. The left hand is going to reach out and chop two. So we should be here. As you coil back, chop. Down. That. So one, two is our motion. So we're going to open and down. 
I keep my feet forward since I'm gonna be going forward on this one. I'm going to step the right foot out, one. As I do the second foot, I'm gonna reach out and do my first chop with my left hand. Two. As I hook step, my right arm is gonna come up. As I coil in with the left hand, hook. Three. Now I'm gonna swing. Four. As I swing, I pull my hand in and start to coil the same thing on the right hand now. Now I'm gonna hook and I start to go through my kidneys and swing step. And then I can walk. I open. I'm gonna reach out with my right foot first, then my left foot. As I finish my second one, I'm going to reach out, cross the body, chop. Now I'm gonna bring with my pinky, coil in. And as I do that, I'm gonna hook step and chop with my left hand. Chop. Now at this point, I'm gonna coil up around my kidney, and then my left hand is gonna coil in as I swing. Now it continues to move as I hook out and walk. So I have a really good exercise for you to practice at home. This is kind of a bonus that will make sure that when you're doing your hook and your swing steps, when you do your chops, it will all flow together. We're gonna step just outside of our shoulder width here. And I'm gonna turn into a high bow stance and actually kneel down just above the ground. So if you start from a kneeling spot, you come up to here. Now when I do that, I'm gonna leave my left hand. I have to move my mic. I'm gonna leave my left hand right above my be belly button on the solar plex. If you have a little tummy, you leave it right on the tummy at the solar plex. The right hand is gonna coil behind, hitting both kidneys, dropping, and then reaching out behind. Now, when you first practice this one, it's very important that you do not let your knee hit the ground, as you can slam your knee. You should be here. Now I'm gonna turn, circle, chop. As I chop, my left hand is gonna pull, coil around both kidneys, drop, no, turn, chop. Right hand is now coiling. And pinky first, around the kidneys, and drop, out, chop, circle, drop, out, chop, circle, drop. When doing these turns, one thing that you have to do is make sure you're spotting. Spotting is looking the direction that you're going, because if you spin and you do not spot, you will get very, very dizzy. So when we're doing these moves, make sure you turn your head on the direction you're going. One bad habit that a lot of people develop is looking down at the feet. Now, when I explain it, a lot of times I do look down as I am trying to explain about the pressure that's built in the hips. Do not look down. Make sure your focus is forward at the direction that you're gonna be doing the technique. So if I'm hook stepping and swing stepping here, I move forward and I hook step, I'm gonna turn my head. Look where I'm going. Hook, swing, hook. Ah, I look down there, see? Don't wanna look down. You wanna just move. That way you can move. All right, y'all, that was your introductory to the hook and swing step. I hope you caught something on. I'm glad you stayed to the end because now Bagua is going to get way more fun. 
So you want to make sure that we practice these hook and swing steps a lot as they're one of the core fundamentals of full style Bagua. If you made it to the end, good job. Please smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Help me help you grow in your Fu Bagua. The only way that I can continue to keep doing this is if you hit that like button, you subscribe. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.